My name is Felix Knight. I use they, them pronouns. I'm a student at DigiPen Redmond pursuing a Bachelor of Arts in Game Design. Early on, from when I was like a pretty little kid, I really enjoyed video games and I had kind of limited time. My parents wouldn't allow me to play games all day. So I ended up circumventing that by just making board games all the time. Um, and as I got older, uh, I had more access to technology and I could go find out how to use game engines and things like that. I was looking at DigiPen's youth programs and I had to kind of choose between game design or art. Those are two things that I was interested in. And I realized, you know what, I'm not actually that great at art <laughs> and uh, I am better suited to game design. Game design is sort of the process of asking why questions about the thing that you're creating. Namely, why would somebody want to purchase this thing? Why would somebody want to continue interacting with it after they play it for the first time? Why would they uh, stay retained and interested? Why would they have a long lasting relationship with the thing that uh, we are presenting to them? Our team was called Moo and Friends and we were creating Moo and the Little Reef which is uh, an underwater adventure sandbox game. You play as this baby sea god who has the power to grow plants uh, very, very fast. <laughs> you plant something and it whoosh and explodes sort of like up into this big, beautiful bloom. So I had a couple of roles on that team. I was both the creative director and the technical designer. So as a creative director, I held the creative vision for the project I had um, our design pillars and I ensured that all of the work that the team was doing all contributed to this one concise vision that a player could easily understand. So we have all of these really cool particles and dust clouds and little swarms of fish that follow you around when you're holding certain plants. So our VFX artist created all of those things and I was pretty much the sole person actually attaching them to the different objects that uh, were using them in the world. And that was extremely rewarding to be able to see her work actually like come to life in the game while people were playing it. The solo project that I'm working on currently is called Hyperham Delivery Company. On this, I am the sole person working on it, but all of the code and design pretty much is coming from me. The concept for it was based on this mobile game called Tiny Wings, uh, where you roll down hills and get speed off of them. And you're doing this in 3D in a hamster ball, delivering carrots to other hamsters on this island. Um, and I developed on that idea in a few other ways. You can buy upgrades for your hamster ball to make you faster. And you also do little dance moves when you're up in the air. So you have to tap keys to the rhythm of the music in order to get some extra money while you're out on deliveries. This past summer, I worked with a company called Author Digital. I was a design intern there and I essentially worked as a sort of systems designer where I was documenting and describing what a lot of the uh, game systems would work, uh, how they would be created, and a little bit of how they would be implemented as well. I actually met the uh, CPO, the Chief Product Officer, and the CEO of Author Digital, Jason and Serena, at one of DigiPen's career fairs. So this was an in-person event where all of these different um, businesses, com game companies had booths set up and students were able to go and discuss internships and jobs with them. So I met them there, I gave them my materials and uh, we followed up later. I did a few interviews with them that went well and I ended up landing that internship. If you haven't made a game yet, I would highly recommend you make one to get that experience and see if making games at all is an, an enjoyable process for you. And once you have, ask yourself the question of which part did you enjoy, maybe which parts. Did you enjoy that why part? That's really what gets it designed. Thinking about how's the player going to respond to the things in the game? What's going to make them enjoy it? Uh, what's gonna, what are they going to find engaging? Why would they continue to play it after a first attempt? Something like that. Those questions are what designers do every day. So if that's the thing that interests you, uh, game design is probably the right path for you.